a quick pros and cons video on the 2024 Honda Prologue. And keep in mind, this is a pre-production model, so any cons that I have to mention, take it with a grain of salt. But let's start out with the pros first. I am really impressed with how quiet, refined, and comfortable this SUV is. We have the fully loaded Elite model with the 21 inch wheels. And this is just gliding over the road without any issues. I even put this SUV through a nasty pothole just to see how it would respond. And it just absorbed it perfectly. And the EX and the Touring models are gonna come with 19 inch wheels. So it's gonna ride even better. Also, this is a rather quiet machine. We don't have too much tire noise or wind noise. I'm impressed with these Bridgestone Alenza Enlightened tires. And even out on the highway, we don't have crazy noise or even crazy wind noise. However, the one con with this pre-production model is here with this front window, there is a bit of wind buffeting coming through and it's only with this window, not with the others. So perhaps on the actual production model, this has been fixed. And no, we do not have here double pane glass, nor do we need it because it is genuinely very quiet even without the thicker glass. So that is the first pro. And we can continue with the other driving pros as well because your everyday handling is great. In fact, everything that a family would want this SUV to do out on the streets, it's doing it really well. When you take your everyday left hand, right hand turns at calm, sedate speeds, this vehicle, it handles its body weight and its body motion really well. In fact, nobody's getting car sick in here. Nobody's jostling over the bumps. So it's one thing to be comfortable, but it's a, another thing entirely for it to feel composed over all the various terrains. Plus this is a pretty wide vehicle and that really helps with the stability of this SUV at high speeds. This is a very planted vehicle and the 275 wide tires, that's also helping out. The 19 inch wheels come with 255 wide tires. Now a con with this SUV is gonna be, it's not that quick. It doesn't offer that neck snapping EV performance that you might be accustomed to or what you might be expecting. And this is the quickest all wheel drive model. The front wheel drive version is gonna be even more sluggish. So the all wheel drive, I mean, it's adequate. This is all a family is going to need. But if you want to save money and go with a front wheel drive vehicle with better range, then yeah, you're gonna be punished with very slow acceleration. But the pro is gonna be it's a very smooth acceleration. It's the type of power that doesn't upset anyone or your occupants. It builds its power progressively, so that's pretty good. And another con is gonna be how bland this interior space is. You have a bunch of hard touch plastics and this piano black plastic running through the interior. I'm not a huge fan of that. But I have to say a pro is gonna be, this is functional and it is ergonomic, all right, despite this being based upon the Chevrolet Blazer EV. This still looks like a Honda cabin space, especially with its center infotainment and the HVAC. All of that seems very Honda, and that's because it really is. The infotainment, it's not the exact one from the Blazer. Honda did modify it, and they did put their own interface over it. So it's very easy to use. I do like this 11.3 inch infotainment screen. And unlike the Blazer EV, you do get wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto with the Prologue, and it comes with that standard. So all of that works. I love the physical buttons and switches for the HVAC. That's a big pro right there. And really the only noticeable Blazer EV interior components are gonna be the steering wheel and the stocks, but even that is perfectly fine. The only thing I don't like, the one con is gonna be with this gear lever. I don't like the way you have to push it in and then select reverse and drive. That gets a bit annoying, especially when you have to do a three point turn. The seats, that's not really a pro or a con. They're just average seats, both in the front and in the rear. And if you like cooled seats, well, you're gonna be disappointed because yeah, the Elite model, it offers you heated and ventilated seats. So they don't claim that it's cooled, but it's a ventilated seat, but it's not doing anything. You don't even feel it working, so yeah, that's pretty pointless. Same thing with the Bose audio system. It is a good system, but the only thing I noticed was the vocals and the instruments, there could be a bit more separation. But overall, it's not bad. It's a decent audio system. 
But the other pro is going to be you do have a lot of good space in here. So I am five foot eleven. It's very easy for me to get in and out, both in the front and in the rear. I have plenty of leg room in the back. However, a con is going to be the rear headroom isn't the best, especially with the pano moonroof that you get with the touring and with the elite models. It does eat into your headspace a little bit in the back. So something to watch out for if you're like six foot two or six foot five sitting in the back. But the trunk is a good size, that's a pro. And you have an additional flap that you can open up with additional storage. And the seats do fold down 60-40, although it doesn't fold down completely flat. The final pro is gonna be the amazing deals that can be had on these Honda Pro Logs. So there is a broker by the name of Auto Companion who is offering almost $17,000 off the MSRP of these vehicles. How is that? Well, him and his partner dealerships in the Washington DC area, they are offering 10% off MSRP, but there's also a lot of incentives that you can stack on top of the dealer discount. So the Prologue does qualify for the $7,500 EV tax incentive, but there's also additional manufacturer incentives like a summer sales event and some other EV leasing credit as well. So total, it's about $11,500 in incentives. And if you qualify for loyalty or for conquest, I believe you get an additional $1,000. So despite these vehicles having like a $56,000, $57,000 MSRP, when they are well equipped, you can get these SUVs for about thirty grand when you lease them. And also Auto Companion has a free leasing calculator, which I will have linked in the description box of this video. It shows you the interest rate of a lease, the residual values, and the incentives that you can qualify for in your local zip code. And if you want to work with Auto Companion, he is located in Washington, D.C. However, he is able to ship nationwide, but shipping is something you have to pay extra for. And he does charge a broker fee to access these deals. But if you sign up with my affiliate link in the description box of this video, he will take some money off of his broker fee. So hopefully you appreciate that knowledge, this information, and these resources. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And keep in mind, Auto Companion, he doesn't just represent Honda. He also has other brands like BMW, Audi, Mercedes, Volvo, Nissan, Mazda, etc. Because it's not just this prologue. Almost every EV has substantial discounts and incentives. So if it were me, I would try my best to get into a luxury branded EV product. But if you just happen to love Honda, then go ahead. These things are also leasing out reasonably well. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Take care and goodbye.